this object here is a profile of the velocity, the actual velocity profile. Okay? So here is V, Z, as a function of X. If you take the average, you get this picture. Okay, this one is average velocity. The red box and the blue box supposed to have equal volume. All right. So you can approximate, or you can say that across the cross section area here, in average the velocity is equal to that. This value will be later used for macroscopic balance. Because when you do unit operation one, when you do the Bernoulli equation balance, you take the average value. That will be used in macroscopic balance. Now, if you take the average and multiply by cross-section area. What will you get? The volumetric flow rate, which is represented by Q. Okay? So by definition, Q is, if you go back to integrate, you get Vz dx dy from zero to delta C of 2w. That's the volumetric flow rate that you can calculate easily. And then, capital W equal to Q times density. That's mass flow rate. Okay? This is volumetric flow rate. And then this one would be mass flow rate. The last thing that you can calculate would be the force. That fluid act on solid. You can calculate how much force liquid exert on fluid. How? By using this profile, the shear stress profile, remember, tau itself can be thought as momentum flux or shear stress. By taking tau to be shear stress, shear means shear stress means force over area. So if you integrate tau all over the area, you should get force, right? So basically, force here, which should have direction in z direction, should be equal to integration of tau, xz. But we are going to calculate force of fluid acting on the solid. So tau here is supposed to be tau located at the interface. The interface is where x equal to delta. Right? So, I'm going to integrate with respect to what? Y, y and Z. Y and Z. DY, DZ. Okay? Because we need to integrate it all over this area. So if you take this 
consider as x equal to delta that means x here is delta okay so that become rho g delta cosine beta integration is very simple because there is no y or c in this equation simply you integrate from 0 to w 0 to l as a result you get rho g delta w l cosine beta that's the force what is the direction of this force is it pointing down or pointing up pointing down according to this equation is positive right all right this force will be later used to calculate friction factor the friction factor that you use in Bernoulli equation is basically force that fluid acting upon the pipe that will be later used in chapter 6 for chapter 2 right now we are in chapter 2 what you what we want the most would be velocity profile once you got velocity profile you can calculate average velocity um, volumetric and mass flow flow rate and the force all right any question now if you look into my handout I gave you handout already in my handout there's a detail of this calculation just like in the textbook but I give you another example the same exact problem but I'm going to change the direction x going there z going there and the origin point is located here by the theory the result supposed to be the same exactly the same so I show you in the handout how it's done you can just study by yourself okay so we finish chapter 2.2 right now we finish 2.2 next week we will start another example and hopefully we will go faster okay any question if there is no question see you next week <laughs>